What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing three solo glitches, all right? These all work for Xbox One and PS4. Not sure about PC, but we have three really cool glitches that are done completely solo, all right? So on Xbox, there is one where you're going to need targeting mode, but it's not that big a deal, honestly. It's a pretty cool glitch, but yeah, you'll see all three that we're going to be getting into. We're going to have an invisible glitch, so you're pretty much what you're seeing right now, obviously. 100% invisible. The other glitch is a solo MOC God Mode glitch, so your MOC trailer will be God Mode. And I'm going to be showing you a really cool wall breach, like right under the highway. All right, really cool spot to kind of camp out. All right, so yeah, we're going to be getting into this stuff really, really soon, but I'm going to make sure to shout out the founders. Uh, the founder of this glitch right here that we're going to be doing first, the invisible glitch, is found by World's Finest Gamer. Uh, also, I think actually, oh wait, it was found by Leo Martin, actually, but it was World's Finest Gamer that posted it. All right, so shout out to them for sharing that with the community. And uh, yeah, so basically what you're seeing right now on the screen this has to do with using a stunt race, all right? It's a really, really simple glitch to do. It's been confirmed working on both consoles. Uh, it might work on PC, not sure. But all it is really is quitting out of a stunt race. But I'm going to show you the exact race to use and the one that works. Here's the problem with this glitch. I haven't been able to get it to work in a public session. I've only been able to get it to work in an invite only. And I tried for like 30 minutes or an hour. I tried to get invisible in a public session. Didn't work. First time I tried invite only, worked. First try. So that's the thing right now. Right now it's only working for private sessions, but nonetheless, still a really cool glitch. So what you want to go ahead and do is, doesn't matter what you're wearing, I had my spawn location set to last location, but as you can see right here, we're going to be going into creator and I'm going into an invite only. So if you want to just start off in an invite only to try it this way, just to see if it works, go ahead and then move into a public session later and try, you know, some different things to get it to work there. But as you can see right here in a private session, I'm going to go over to stunt races and pick plummet. All right. You want to pick that stunt race plummet. So I went to my recently played because I've already done it. You would just go to rocks or created jobs, stunt races and look for stunt plummet. All right. That's the job. Uh, make sure you put it on point to point non-contact in the very beginning and then go ahead and start up the race. All right. But make sure you put it point to point, no contact. I don't know if it's 100 percent necessary, but it does help. All right. So. Uh, I'm gonna be using the autark here. Don't think the car matters either, but yeah, you just like I said guys It's so simple. You're gonna see right here I'm just gonna spawn in this race now. You don't want to move make sure you do not move the car whatsoever Don't turn the wheel and don't actually drive forward or backwards. None of that you can move the camera But that's it don't move so at this point you want to sit here for a few seconds at around five seconds I usually go on my phone and I just quit all right, so you can just simply quit right out of the job now in a private session, you should be able to load in fairly quickly, all right? And you're gonna see right here, this is uncut. You see how fast I'm loading in? That's because I started the job in a private session. And as you can see right here, I spawn in 100% invisible. Okay, you can take out your guns, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'll let you know the criteria on kind of, not the criteria, but you know, the things to kind of look out for with this glitch. Um, something really cool, you can die and come back still invisible. Okay, so you can die as much as you want and you'll be good. The one, the issue is if you actually get into a car, you see the game still thinks you're in in a car, I'm guessing, in the race. So that's why this looks like this, all right? But the second you get into a car, you will get unglitched. As you can see right here, I'm just showing you uh, getting wasted right here by the cops, and I spawn back, and I'm still 100% invisible, okay? So right there is a clip of that, and now I'm just going to show you getting into a car. Basically, once you get into a car, that's going to end the glitch for you, okay? You'll still be invisible while you're in there, but the second you get out, or in my case, I'm going to just, you know, take the easy way out right here. And you see, I spawn back and I'm on foot, not invisible. But that's that glitch right now. Private session only. Let's see if we can get it to work in a public session. Uh, this next glitch is a solo MOC God mode glitch. All right. You can make your MOC uh, trailer actually God mode 100%. Okay. Nice little trolling glitch, I guess. Uh, just something new and something that I wanted to kind of throw here on the channel uh founders of this one are celestial gaming killer gaming and insanely obscure 420 so shout out to those guys for finding this glitch right here now what you want to go ahead and do is all you need is an moc you can throw yourself in a public session uh this is the one where playstation we're going to be using recent activities and xbox needs a friend in a different target mode i'm going to be using a friend in a different target mode i'm going to be doing that method but uh yeah if you're on playstation you can do it 100 percent solo with recent activities okay but Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I have a friend, I'm ready to join in a different targeting mode, as you can see right there. 
I'm going to drive my MOC into my bunker. And then once the animation starts, I'm going to quickly go to join that friend. I'm going to accept the first alert and then sit on the second alert. Okay, so right now I'm sitting on the targeting mode alert. If you're on PlayStation using recent activities, you want to go ahead and just sit on the recent activity alert. Okay, and you want to sit on this alert for about one minute to one minute, one minute to one minute and 20 seconds. I did one, one and a half minutes basically, and I could get it every time. Not multiple times in a session though, only once. All right. So once the time is up, you want to go ahead and decline the alert. All right. You should get a flash there. Go ahead and get that alert again. So join the same friend, accept the first alert and decline the second. And now, as you can see, we are under the map. If you're frozen like this, you want to go ahead and go to online go to criminal enterprise starter pack, then back out of it. And then you'll be able to actually move around. You want to go ahead and just hop out of the MOC cab. All right. So if you've done everything correctly up to this point, like that's it, you're good to go. Your MOC trailer is God mode. As you can see right here, the trailer's still outside. Yeah, that trailer is 100% God mode. You can go ahead and some of you might be asking, how do you actually drive it around? Well, you can order up your phantom wedge, all right? You can use your phantom wedge to actually do it. But I'm just gonna fast forward through this clip right here just so that, you know, I don't get any people saying that, how do you know it's God mode? This thing usually takes 20 missiles to destroy or 20 explosions, like sticky bombs, things like that. I'm basically gonna empty like 39 rounds or 39 missiles straight into it as you can see fast forward to here and it's still there all right so 100% god mode like I said you can grab your phantom wedge and you can kind of troll people uh, you know with that so here's the thing though with this glitch I thought it would be a lot more fun but with the phantom wedge as awesome as a vehicle as it is it's still very very weak first of all the phantom wedge itself will start you know kind of deteriorating the more you drive through cars and things like that but apart from that it's a one shot one kill you know when it comes to missiles so if somebody does shoot you with a missile you're done your moc trailer will still be there but your phantom wedge is going to be blown up you got to call it again and uh yeah so that's the only thing to really look out for and i'm going to show you right here it's almost like instant karma kind of like i'm just driving around i had no intention of going for this guy in the crate i'm not really into blowing up people's crates but as you can see right here look at this i run over this dude so i just got the kill right there on i think his name is jeff there so i got the kill on him and i'm turning the corner here and i know that there's an oppressor coming but i didn't know whether he was going to do something look at that one shot is all it took i'm dead all right trailer will still be there but this thing is gone i'm gonna have to go ahead and call it up again and go find my moc all right so that is that glitch so you can go ahead and have fun with that this is the last one this is just a simple wall breach but a really cool one all right so you want to go ahead and head over to this spot on the highway it's basically once you're going back into los santos from blaine county um if you guys have farmhouse bunker then you'll know what i'm talking about you probably traveled along this strip of highway uh more than a few times but as you can see right here you see it's where all the highways kind of meet before you go into blaine county or los santos uh, so this is the location you want to go ahead and just get off your vehicle and you see where the uh, the graffiti is just go ahead and climb up here and just run straight pretty much the same angle that you see me running here more towards the wall all right and just keep sprinting so keep tapping x keep tapping a and just keep going once you're in this little spot right here uh the camera should get a little glitchy and then you should end up just breaching in uh you you don't have any more you know simple like wall breaches don't get any more simple than that you're just running into this one all right no need for vehicles no need for weird uh you know props or anything like that you can sneak right in so as you can see right here this wall breach is really neat your head your half your body can be sticking out and you can actually just duck back to cover really really quickly so say you have a bounty or somebody in the lobby is chasing you you can do this right here and yeah they will not be expecting this i've never really found anybody in this kind of wall breach or in this exact wall breach before but you can't really go to many places you can see right here if you go back you're gonna kind of get out of the breach but you only have this little area you can kind of run in and be halfway up on top of the highway. Uh, if you turn left from the direction you see me right here, obviously there's nothing there. So you will fall under the map. If you want, you can parachute to another location. But remember, once you fall under the map fully, you're just going to end up spawning right on top again. So if you got somebody chasing you, they're going to be right there. You're not going to move. All right. So pull out your parachute and try to land somewhere far away if you're trying to escape from somebody in the session. All right. But, uh yeah guys that's it i hope you enjoyed these three glitches i wanted to bring you something else uh we got the dlc coming up real soon i'm gonna be hyping it up 
all weekend. So I really, really hope you guys are excited. I'm very excited. Be expecting a lot of videos, a lot more glitches on Tuesday and, uh, you know, past Tuesday, obviously, when the DLC is out. All right. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.